Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath where we're in the middle of our mega heatwave right now um, and uh, we're going to try and get through it and continue growing. Somebody, uh, a few people actually gave some really great feedback from the first episode so thank you so much for that. Uh, somebody said it's a really great idea to, you can actually select uh, Harvest Now get them all straight away. Do that before this hits and then you can shut the thing down and it stops them trying to grow in time, you know, in times when it ain't going to happen. So um, I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to harvest now and harvest now and just see if we can kind of make the most of it, you know. Who are you? Oh, Platy, you're back, are you? Okay, welcome back. Um... Let's see if that makes much of a difference. Uh, also, uh, somebody's mentioned that these work uh, orders that we can put out, we can actually move them. Uh, sorry, we can actually increase the size of them using control and scroll, which is pretty awesome. Um, so it doesn't particularly help us because there isn't, <laughs> there isn't that much around, but I think we're going to concentrate on concrete. Um, there we go. Oh, I say you're back. We haven't sent you yet, have we? Sorry, I sent you out in the tutorial version, but not in this one. Um, right, okay, so we can so we can do that. And then the other thing somebody's pointed out that I didn't even realise is there are paths. Absolutely mind-blowing. Didn't even know. So we can d totally put paths there, and I assume they're going to help people get around. I, mean, I don't know, really, but we can put some there, in, can't we, outside of these. Make some fun stuff. Like that. There we go. Doesn't doesn't um, doesn't cost anything to put them down, so maybe they use them, maybe they don't, maybe they're just for us. Who knows? Heatwave is upon us anyway. Let's um are we yielded them? Are they, are they doing it? I don't know. Anyway, let's send um let's send send old uh, Platy out. Platy, yeah. Okay, she's got a platypus on her head. Somebody suggested in the comments that means that we must be in Australia, which I guess kind of makes sense. Um, so we can come over here. We're going to scavenge some jerky. So we send her there, and then that uses up her energy points, and then that's it. We come back to her later on. But she's got some jerky on her now, okay? So that's that. Um, okay, so next thing I wanted to do in this episode was work on getting uh, wood automated at least start bringing some wood in so let's have a look for that so we've got sawmill and forester so forester grow saplings and plants them in the specified work area trees are an important raw material that are used to create planks and firewood uh, the growth time from a sapling to a full grown tree depends on the soil type planting on a fertile soil helps grows much faster than a normal soil barren soil or uh, on the other hand, it's very ineffective terrain to grow trees as it takes very long. Okay, well, that makes sense. Okay. And then a sawmill cuts down trees from a specified area. So first of all, we get a forest to set up. So I wonder if there's a way we can uh, look at um, like the, the soil. Um, oh, here we go. There's Platte. Is there a way to do statistics, maybe? Resources. Buildings now. Um, how about if we try and put a well down? That showed us before, right? Oh, see, the problem there is a good chance that the screen is now all funny colours, right? And I just can't see them because of my colour blindness. A few people pointed out that it changes the colour changes whether or not you can reach things using the work area. I just I don't think I can see it, unfortunately. Um, but I suppose this is telling me. Okay, so panel place on barren soil. Okay, so I can see the difference between those two. Yeah, okay, so this lighter colour here for me is barren soil. So actually, we're pretty good. There's some over here, I think. Oh, it's so tricky. Do you know what? These silly little things. So what have we got here? You're a trapper. This actually would be a really good, I think. Oh, no, hold on. Is that barren as well? Oh, that's... I think there's a slightly different colour there. So maybe this is the richest soil where all this pollution is. Uh, okay, well, well, let's let's aim here then. What are you? Plastic and metal. Let's aim here as a as a uh, tree area. So forester, let's put you there. And then, I suppose once you're built, we can. Um, we can get the rest set up. So I suppose we might as well build the sawmill as well, right? Right next to it. Insufficient materials. So what do we need there? Mm -hmm. 
What's going on over here? It requires maintenance or something, that does it? Repair, six wood. Oh, okay. We have no wood. But didn't we just... Ah, no, we did, We have not, no wood coming in, right? Because this is all going towards concrete. Okay, so move that area so that it includes that little bit of wood as well. And then we've got... I mean, there's all sorts of here. Oh, there we go. The heat wave is over. Hurrah. I will say that maybe that heat wave view is a little intense. I'm just going to keep getting sending her for the jerky for now. Because it's safe. Um, so now we can unlock you again, right? And so corn, corn, potatoes. Okay. Commotion in the colony. What's going on here? Pushing through a circle of people, you notice two colonists brawling on the ground. They both stand up. Uh, upon your arrival and go into accusing each other. Uh, okay, so we can... Uh, so one apparently spent the entire day harassing the other, finally snaps and threw a punch. So we can either punish the guy who started harassing or punish the guy who threw the punch, or we can give them both medicine. They are bruised and beating. Do you know what? I'm going to be I'm gonna be a generous god. How are we doing for medicine? Do we have much of it? Three. Ouch. Okay. Give them medicine. Patch yourselves up and get back to work, you bark. We need everyone on board here to so cool it. The crowd see annoyed by the apparent non-decision but return to their daily routines. One happiness. Okay, I'll take a, I'll take one happiness. There it is. Agreement, 16. Well rested, 3. Some are tired and exhausted. Well, if you're tired and exhausted, go and rest. Although that's probably because your rooms are rubbish, right? Maybe you need better rooms. We have three wood in stock now. We really need to get this forest to set up. Where else have we got? So, oh, here's. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's move this over to here. There's three piles of wood there. There's also one right down here as well. I've just realised. Tell you what, let's 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 get that one first, eh? <laughs> um, you, how, how much is still there? There is still. Um, does it actually tell me? There is zero, there is zero. Okay, so now we can. So that's done. So now we can. What we can do is scout one of these new areas out. So let's do this one up north. So let's come here and right click, and she'll run over and then have a little looky. And oh, what have we got? What have we got? A manufactory, no hazards, zero danger. That's good. I don't. Doesn't it, I don't really know what's there. But when you can. You need to go over there, I think. Used up all their energy looking in the forest, which is makes sense, I suppose. Um day ten. There's still nineteen of nineteen. We've stuck Paul's work area here together. I have done. Look. They're on it. And they're using the wood from somewhere. Carly Samuel died of exhaustion. Oh man. death but nobody's exhausted anymore ouch well rested 18 okay well don't make a habit of that I suppose can we uh, can we fix this now now we've got some wood coming in is that done okay so let's move the work area over to he no I think where, probably where it is is fine but here and then move this work area to here first, so we'll clear this area out right here. There we go. Okay, what's up with you lot? Uh, sparkling eyes, an old landfill has been found, probably by the stench. It's not too far from here, the smell is absolutely awful. So, clothing and tools, oh, I mean that wipes us out of tools and clothing. Go on. You've got 12 metal and 8 components, that's pretty good. Okay, I mean we've used up all our tools, but I'll take that. Okay, so this looks like we're going to get tools anyway, so can we click that? She's gone straight in. What have you got? Nothing? Oh yeah, there you go, look. You got three tools off that, nice. Is that it though? Done? Yeah, okay, well we'll send you somewhere else in a minute. Um, this I have clicked repair. Doesn't look like anyone's come over to do it yet. And then we've got some acid rain, look. Is this the dead guy? Okay. Should we look at building somewhere to put him? 
burial pit. Modest burial pit where colonists are buried after their earthly struggles finally end. Having a decent final resting place for those who passed away gives some comfort to living. Destroying the pit will cause a hazardous penalty to the entire colony. Okay, so we want one of these, but we want it. We don't really want it anywhere near anything, right? Put it on there on that barren land. That's probably the way to go about it. Let's just slow the game up a little. Okay. Right, I guess we'll move out. Uh, come and check this area out. See if there's anything good. Oh, so we've got a bit of danger here, and it's for concrete. I'm not really interested in endangering ourselves for concrete. We'll right, have a look somewhere else. Okay, so this one here is the scrapper. Doing a fine job there, getting hold of some plastic and fiber and stuff. Oh no, what do they, you get metal and, what are you? What are you there? I'm not too sure what that is that we gain one of. Mouse overs would be nice. The recycler, we get three plastic and we get their fiber, right? Fiber, okay. Yeah, deposits, depleted, planks, they've all gone. They don't look like they've all gone, but okay. Okay, so move the work area. Let's move it up over to these three then. Although we should be starting to sort of self-sufficient planks now. This guy's got them coming in, look. One log makes two. That's pretty good. So what... Oh, you plant them, right? Yeah, so you'll, you'll plant them over there. Can't see any... Yet. But okay. So we're foresting. Is this getting built? This is getting built. It's all there. It just needs to be constructed a little bit more. But it's night time. That's fine. So how are we doing happiness-wise? No, no buffs or negatives for happiness. Oh, hello. No free carriers. You need free carriers. Uh, resources build and repair. That's only because... Oh, somebody has to work in the burial pit. Well, what we'll do is we'll just turn that on whenever somebody dies, right? So, we can turn that off now. Yeah. Okay. Sci specialist ready for action. I thought that said scientists then. Okay, not really interesting going there. Let's come and have a look up here. And if this is dangerous as well... Oh, clothes though. Clothes... I, I don't mind risking it for clothes. Concrete? No, there's plenty of concrete around right now, but clothes, maybe. Uh, one of the guys rushing towards you spotted an abandoned wagon. Search the wagon, but arm them with some planks. I'll go for that. Uh, we found five components and seven clothing. Nice. In that case, let's bring you back. Um, we can't just yet. That's fine. Um, okay. There we go. They do seem to work on paths if they can. I don't know whether it makes them quicker or... Put a few more down just in case. A pair just chatting there, are you? So they have to actually come and construct them, do they? Can't tell whether somebody's actually doing it or not. What are you doing? Just chilling? Having fun? In particular, look like you were having fun. Looks like you were just standing there. Uh, right, come back with your tools and your jerky then. Oh, we can only go there in one session, right? Okay, so we've got. Oh, six points here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Rest up. Wow, that's pretty rough, isn't it? It takes a while to get you back. Okay. Never mind. Right, let's have a look at this build menu then. What have we got that we can look at doing? Because I don't... Oh, the other thing I want to know is if we have any science points. Uh, science points on the world map. So... Have you got any? Maybe... Do we have to find somewhere with science points? Hmm... 
Oh, I thought maybe that she'd have just accrue it out there, but it doesn't look like it, does it? Maybe, no, don't come back just yet there. Maybe we can see if we can find some science points because until we've got them, we're relatively limited on what we can do. Fishing hut might not be a bad shout. Um, although I don't think we've particularly got any water nearby. I mean, there's a little bit there, but... So there's a little bit, but I mean, that's starting to get a little far out that way. Oh, this isn't so bad. How about, um, the problem is we need some, we need some more people. That's really quite annoying that that one square is no good. There we go. Boom. Let's go fishing hut in. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, here we go. Couple comes to you asking if the colony has any rules about parenting. The mother thinks the children should be tasked with handling domestic work, while the father thinks the children are too young and should be allowed to spend the days playing. Um, we plan to have them educated. You agree the children should pitch in, but don't think taking over the domestic tasks is the best idea. You're promised looking to educating them in a way which could include light domestic work as a means to teach responsibility. Now, does that mean we have to do it in a certain time, or...? I'm going to scout that area out. See what we've got. Components. But there's no danger. So we'll go there and get some components, sure. But the problem is here is we're going to run out of um, we're going to run out of people, right? There we go. Has this been built now? Yeah. So it does get built after a time. Okay. Gate. We've got all stuff sitting in the gate. Look. So do the, do people just turn up randomly? I guess people just turn up randomly then. Definitely do with some because we've only got 15. Oh, there's not much plastic left there. Look, seven. Let's move the uh, plastic trash place in a minute. And we're doing okay for food, to be honest. Fishing hut. Somebody working there? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Fishing away. Good stuff. So. I think it's going okay. Supplies-wise, we're doing really good. We've got no concrete in. I'll tell you what we should do, really, is let's move this to somewhere there's concrete because we really don't need... Oh, I can just see the colour change on that, but it's so minute, that, for me. Um, that They're all concretes, right? Okay, so there we go. So that'll get us concrete coming in because it looks like we don't have to worry about collecting wood now. Right. Let's see if there's any. See if we can see any planted trees yet. Um, okay, there. There's some little trees there. They look. That looks like a new tree. Huh? Working. See, he's a forester. There we go. Oh, someone's at the gate. Hello. Uh, oh. A weathered woman carrying a worn-out backpack marches towards the gate. Do you have any medicine there? I have four children, and as you probably know, they're real infection maggots. I could trade you something for it. Oh, we oh they give us food locks, so we get different different uh, foods on the go. We haven't got any medicine though. I'm sorry. Okay, I have to rely on some home remedies then. You probably don't have any on he on either. She says and immediately walks away. It's not long before the forest has completely swallowed her. Sorry, I'm not too sure how we make medicine actually. Let's have a look about that. Eh, tech tree, colony. Communal living, comfortable housing, knowledge. So you'd think it might have been there, wouldn't you? Bartering, disaster forecast, security, general storage, hazmat. Maybe, oh, there we go, medical centre. There is no way to keep a large colony healthy with a simple medic's tent. A properly managed field hospital is both more spacious and effective uh, in treating a wide variety of conditions. Hmm. No, it looks like medicine's always going to be a, a source that we have to find out there. Energy, junk recycling... So junk is useful, and e scrappers. Oh, it's a scrapper's side product. Junk is useful and even valuable for those who are able to recycle it. The mechanic shop converts it into mechanical parts, which are required. Ah, so that's the that must be the other thing that we're picking up is junk. We just have no. We have no science points. We're gonna send you over here. You can. How many did you get? You picked up seven. Yeah, pick up all them and then come back, and we'll see if that gives us any 
research points. And if it doesn't, um, there is a help thing, isn't there? Hold on. Help. Um, let's have a look. Scouting, scavenging, returning to the colony. Especially easy to carry scavenger resources to the colony. To do this, we're selecting to give them moves. Come back colony. Resources, colony. Dropped off at the gate storage. Okay. Healing specialists. Specialists are not invincible. They can get hurt in combat. Healing can only be done in the colony, so you have to bring them back if they're not well. Okay. Research. Here we go. Um, world Math Colony. The locations with valuable knowledge can be searched for science points, which, unlike other resources, are immediately available to the colony. Right. So yeah, we do have to go, we do have to find somewhere with science points. Okay. That's good to know. Storage is a full stockpile. Which one's the stockpile? That one. Wow, okay. Well, let's build another one of those then. Um, let's remove this bit of road here. And build another uh, stockpile there. And then build some road around it. Nope. Build a bit of road around it. There we go. <laughs> mm, tends to cancel that. Let's, let's, let's fix that problem. We can fix that problem. Pandemic? Ouch. Um, just a cop, and then the fever picks up. People start dropping like flies, and the colony grinds to a halt. Now, it's a question of how quick you react. Several staffed medical facilities can nullify it almost completely, but left unchecked, it spreads like wildfire. But coming waves, infected colonists, untreated colonists will eventually die. Build enough medical facilities to treat the infected. Antibiotics speed up the healing process, scavenge them from the world map. Okay, right. So, we don't, we don't have antibiotics. I know that much. And we don't have um, we don't have much medicine either, so we're going to have to just manage. We, we don't have any medicine, in fact. We're going to have to manage with just these buildings here. But we can definitely get. An, I, I think another one will do, right? I don't. I can't imagine we need like five of them things. So we'll build another medical tent over here. Right. And set it to high priority. And we've got a couple of days. Specialists are ready for action. Okay. Uh, come on, get yourself some more of them. That's going to take three goes, right? And then we'll sketch this one. And hopefully that's some science. And eventually I'm assuming we can have more people out there. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, three adults and a child. They're bringing in some corn, some tools, and some canned goods. Um, he's good at exploration and, and research. Science point multiplier, research missions. Okay, yeah, I want you. Yeah, come on in. I think we have homes for everyone, right? There's one person homeless. Ouch. Okay. Um. Oh. Let's do it on the back of that one. Okay. Okay, that start pass full, but we've got another one there, right? So let's get you stockpiling some stuff from over way over there. <laughs> uh, okay, what's up with you lot? A couple of colonists have spotted some sort of vehicle stuck down a deep crevice. Might still be useful stuff inside it. Climbing down without proper gear can be dangerous. Let them try. Oh, an injury. Nice. Perfect. Okay, so I'm assuming we can now send you out. Okay, cool. Oh, and you've got some more points as well. So you come and check. Good, you're a big lad, aren't you? Science points. Yes. But who are you? Oh. Defeat bandits to access location. Attack 8, defense 0. What about you? You've got attack 1, defense 1. What about you? Oh. Okay. I don't know. I'm tempted to try it and see what happens. <laughs> because, you know, he's just joined us. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Right, you've got no more uh, recycling. So I reckon metal, metal. There's plastic. Is it worth just moving that area to there for now then before we rehome you? You've got a broken bone, get yourself in there. Okay, so we've got two of these set up now. We can close one of them down after the pandemic. 
Food we seem to be doing okay with, even with them as new people. I mean, it's probably early days, but it looks like we have enough food coming in. Oops. Bring the path down there so people can get to their lovely homes. You're telling me you're... Now you're 93% full. Um... Ready for action, both of you? Good. Okay, so you go and get the last of the components there. You, come on then. Let's see what that let's see about this. Nice. Yeah, okay. Are we winning? Oh, he's gonna rest up. I I I think I think we're doing alright. <laughs> Defeat bandits to ourselves. I, I think we I think we're doing okay. I don't really understand the numbers. They have eight attack and we have two, and they have two defense and we have one. So technically they should be slaughtering us, but they've only got three out of seven health. And we've got 89 out of a hundred, so I feel that we could just slowly wear them down, right? Okay. A little bar somewhere showing us what their recovering rate is like would be good as well. Pandemic, yeah, that's on its way. Conlist is injured. Okay, well, go and get yourself in the medic then. Are you stuck? Oh, you work in the medical tent. I ha Oh, there we go. I have had reports of people getting stuck. I I've seen a few people, other YouTubers, have said that their people are getting stuck. But, you know, game's early access. These things happen, you just kind of have to decide whether or not it's going to be something like him there, look. Mm, having fun, okay, I'll let you off. Um, small concrete rune depleted, that's okay, I think. I'm pretty sure there's still some there for you, yeah, okay. And you, all the way over there, nice. Someone's at the gate. A lone wanderer. A man approaches the gate dressed in a beaten old trench coat and burying his face along inside the large hood. Remains tight-lipped about his exact origins or motives but offers to join the colony and help out working as a scientist. He's constantly looking over his shoulder while talking and seems overall nervous. Hmm. That's a tricky one. Uh, Go on. Oh no. As soon as you open the gate, the wanderer bolts towards the closest pile of food. Took some into his trench coat pockets and rather nimbly slides between the closing gate doors and the flabbergasted guards can react without a thingy. Skip event results, debug fail save because we don't have potatoes. Ha ha! Yes, we have no potatoes! <laughs> we have no potatoes today! Okay. Ha 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 ha. They need to program that so that he takes whatever food we do have, I guess. Alright, come on then, you. Smash them bandits. Smash them bandits. Still? Oh, he's getting there, though. Oof. Uh, that's empty. So we, we need to try and get you back then, don't we? Come on. Bring all this gear back. There you go. And it's dropped off already. Nice. So I suppose we'll give you one step that way to start bringing yourself out to somewhere else. All right. Good stuff. Okay. Everyone, what on earth is going on here? Uh-huh. What on earth? Uh-huh. Walking. Okay, that was weird. I'm assuming that's a weird, like, debug thing, maybe? Uh -huh. You've all got this... Can't, is it can't work? Is it the pandemic thing started already? Hmm. Oh, that's not what that is all about. A lot of people saying they say that over their heads. Okay, well we'll we'll continue as if it didn't happen or as if it means nothing because I really don't know what it means. Um, yeah, what is it over everyone's head? No, it's not over everyone's head. Look, you're all right. Hmm? So let's see if there's any difference. Conditions none. Hmm, conditions none. Happiness is middling. Equipment, you've got tools and clothing on. Ah, no tools. That's what it's saying. It's saying that they have no tools. Have they always been there and I just haven't noticed? Because we, ha we are short on tools. We we're hopefully going to get um, Platy out to find some. 
She's our scavenger. Linus is our scavenger as well, but he's good at research and you're good at... What are you good at? Not much. You're just like a general one. That's okay, Platy. You're doing us, you're doing us great. Uh, good stuff. Right, I think we'll leave it there then. The gates are open. Well, they have been opened and we're on the world map. Next one, we're going to hopefully work on some science point stuff. Thanks for watching. Till the next one, be good.